Hey guys, I'm back. I, um, I want to show you a video on uh, aluminum 4043 TIG welding. Uh, some things that I ran across that I'm going to show you um, will hopefully help you going forward. This is, seems to be only on 4043, um, but bear with me. A few me things here. So I have um, my machine set on 140 amps, and I'm going to go into the balance. I got it on ProSet 75 and the frequency ProSet 120. I'm on AC polarity, high frequency, and standard remote. I'm using the wireless foot pedal today. I'm using for argon. Let me just check this and uh, see what I'm using here. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but I'm using right around 30. And I want to show you a couple things that have been going on here that I've been kind of testing here. So this is 4043. And you can see it. I don't know if it's from the material not being cleaned or running too hot. Um, you know, here's some more. So if you see this, it kind of looks dull. Now, I kind of figured it out. I ran a few beads and this is 4043. It kind of looks shiny. So what I'm going to tell you is a lot of people say leave the machine on max, which, which is fine. So, you know, I'm on 140. I could go up to 210 and use it that way. But what I like to do is kind of give myself a maximum because what happens is when you use the pedal, you're on a zero to 210 for amps. Okay. So when you hit the trigger and you go all the way down, that's 210. Now, when you sit it on 140 and you hit it all the way down, it's now 140. So you get a wider range in the spring, you know, as you're going down. So you get, as you're learning, um, I guess more incremental pedal depress to get you where you need to be. So what was happening here is I was just pushing the pedal down to where I needed it, but I think the pedal was so touchy that it was really tough to get my weld correct. So what I'm going to show you is these two rods over here, I have uh, cleaned and I bent them so I know which ones were what. I cleaned with acetone. This one I didn't. So we're going to run some beads here um, with it set at 140 and we're going to run some beads with it um, set at 210 on the max. So, All right, so I marked two so we can go back and forth so I don't get, you know, we don't get stuck on just one. Uh, I'm going to move the rest of this scrap a little bit here that I've been practicing on. So I've done a lot of practice with this just to kind of see where I'm at and, and what's going on with stuff. 50-53 uh, burns, no problem. Great. Really, really shiny weld. I'm really good with it. Uh, I think because the 40-43 flows a little bit better. I don't know if that's why I'm having issues, but... Uh, I'm going to kind of show you what I got from here. So the first thing I'm going to do is push the pedal down all the way, get a nice pedal going, and then I'm going to start my weld. All right, so now if you notice, it's dull. It's really dull. So it's kind of a dull, and that's what I just did a minute ago. Um, right here is what I did a minute ago. These two beads. So same filler wire, same machine, same everything. We put them next to each other. So that's one, that's the other. So this one, I just blasted it wide open on 140. Got a puddle going quick. So let's, uh, let's give it a shot again. The faster I go, the better the weld looks. Same wire, same everything. See how nice that, that bead profile is? Cleaning action's pretty nice. Right around it. Right? So I'm gonna show you this piece. So, great, feeling terrible. So I'm gonna do the dirty piece to see kind of what that does. So that was the clean piece, and this was just practice. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, same feeling. I'm gonna stop the pedal down, get through that oxide layer fast, and then move quickly.
Again, it's flat. So I don't know if it's because there's air in the back, you know, and it's getting uh, some cooling. So I'm gonna put a backing plate under here. And then run a bead. Let's see what it looks like. Again, this machine set at 140. It's a little bit better, it's still not shiny. All right, we go to surgeries, so I'm going on it. Actually, I'm gonna clean this first. See what happens when I clean it. Because that was clean, but that's gone. So let's wipe it off. Clean it up with acetone. Now you can see how dirty it was. I mean, when you clean half of it, see the difference? So I'm hoping that I get a shiny bead now. And that'll uh, prove my theory. So uh, I don't know if anybody's out there that uh, maybe Texas Viking or somebody that watches my channel can kind of chime in here and tell me what's going on. So I'll run another bead right there. All right, so I'm gonna run one right on top of the other one. Same rod, it never left my hand. Dipped it a couple times, but it still came out good. Maybe I didn't dip it. All right, so there it is, nice and shiny, nice and high. The profile is good. Everything's good on it, you know. And so I don't know. This is the same exact material here as this. Same thickness, same wall, everything. Same length, and just for some reason, they run differently. So I'll try it on this piece again too. Pretty bad dipping it. I don't know if I was too close, but it still turned out fine. So um, I grab another piece here. Maybe we can uh, clean it. See what happens. Gonna wire brush it, acetone it. See what happens here. You grab some acetone real quick. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it has to do with breaking through the oxide layer or what. Um, 
So I'll run it on this one again. Find a spot that's not even really clean. Still came out pretty decent. And I didn't even clean it. So, you know, like I said, uh, anybody on the channel that can help me out, be phenomenal. Because I cannot figure out why I'm getting cloudy uh, beads with 4043. Again, I don't have this problem with 50, 50, 53, 56. It's just um, 40, 43 when I'm doing it on the bench. If there's uh, an opening in it like this, it's fine. I don't know what that would do to make a difference, but uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully somebody out there can help all of us if anybody else is having this problem. Thanks, guys.